Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Here's a look at today's top stories. Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson could soon face two additional lawsuits accusing him of, of sexual misconduct. Today, Watson responded to those mounting legal woes at mandatory mini camp in Berea. Um, yeah, I can't control that. You know, I met with the, the NFL um, a couple weeks ago and uh, I did everything they asked me to do. I answered every question truthfully uh, that, that the NFL asked me. Um, I spent hours with, those, with, those, with the people that they brought down and that's all I can do. Tony Busby's the attorney for two dozen women who filed civil suits against Watson, and he tells News 5 an Atlanta lawyer refer to, quote, very compelling case. Busby says another accuser came forward after seeing the HBO Real Sports interview with some of Watson's accusers. Governor DeWine signed a three and a half billion dollar capital budget. He says it's geared toward creating jobs and growing the economy. It includes improvements in mental health care, infrastructure projects for the new Intel computer uh, chip facility, greater school security, and improvements to our state parks. This budget will provide funding for really many important uh, projects, and it's a continuation uh, of our efforts to invest in the people of Ohio, uh, to invest in Ohio so that this remains uh, a great place to live. Now, as for that school security funding, the budget allocated $100 million for a new round of grants for things like badging systems, security training, and door locking systems. Three people sent to a hospital after an explosion at an energy facility in Worcester. Fire officials say that blast happened at the Quasar Energy Biosolid Processing Plant this morning. Cause of the explosion still under investigation has Matt Cruz assessing the environmental impact of the blast. All right, Mark. Well, it's going to get hot tomorrow. Here we go. We got heat uh, warnings and heat advisories. Bottom line, middle 90s on the thermometer feels like temps near 105, except right along the shoreline. Warm front moving in tonight. Behind that warm front, look at these temps. I mean, Chicago hit 100. I'm thinking 95, 96, 94 ish. 74 overnight, isolated thunder tomorrow, hot and muggy, 96. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.